Hey you all, it's your girl, the internet ho, And for today's vlogmas curls, this vlogmas curls has been long overdue. Not just months, not just days, not just weeks, but years small curls. Like, nakakaloka, alam niyo mga curls, I promised this vlog pretty sure around 2019 pa na na-promise ko na gagawa ko ng episode na to. Because in this channel mga curls, we have this series called Best and Worst Blank. If you're new here, we have Best and Worst Fragrance, Best and Worst Serums, Best and Worst Toners, Best and Worst Sunscreens. I'll be linking it down below. And then this one mga curls, matagal ko na talaga tong utang na to. Like, super duper tagal. Because for today's video mga curls, we're gonna be doing another episode of the Best and Worst Blank. This time naman mga curls, we're gonna be doing the Best and Worst Moisturizer! So ayan yung mga curls, I was able to try all of these products mga curls in a span of two years. Yes, you heard that right? Two Damn years. And also, mga curls, in this video, pag sinabing moisturizer, specifically moisturizer, like sleeping mask, moisturizer sa umaga, hindi po kasali mga serums, kasi I have new serums actually, pero hindi ko sinali ang serums. These are just specifically moisturizers that's perfect for oily skin and perfect sa mga pawisan. And also, may mga iba dito na medyo rich yung consistency. Pero I'll let you know naman, mga curls, especially if you have dry skin and normal skin. In this vlog, mga curls, I'll be focusing on those na mga very oily skin, very sensitive pagdating sa moisturizers especially in our weather it's very humid na pagdating sa moisturizers parang we have this misconception that we have to not moisturize and ayun nga gusto ko balikan yung sinabi ni Dr. Vicky Bello na we shouldn't moisturize that's depending on the product kasi are, there are other products that are very rich in oil those are very moisturizing which would be good if the weather was cold or if you have very dry skin but she also mentioned that it's nice to hydrate your skin those are skin products that are technically moisturizers but are water based that's more hydrating sa skin so, to be honest most of what I have here are very lightweight. Most of them are water-based. It's very perfect for those who have very oily skin. And of course, small curls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified, small curls. And also, small curls, don't forget to like and share this video. And lastly, I'll be leaving all my social media links over here. So without further ado, small curls, let's get Alright, small curls. I'm gonna go over these moisturizers, small curls. And actually, the bilang ko siya. I think it's 27 or 22 moisturizers na nandito. Nakakaloka. Looking at them, I'm like, feel ko. You have to grab your popcorns. Medyo mahaba-haba to. So push lang, curl. So I want to start first with the soothing gel. Lately, small curls. Pagdating sa soothing gel, ito lang talaga gamit ko. I use the Lux Organics Sika soothing gel, and then I use here. This is the Lux Organics Hyaluron soothing gel. This one in particular, yung Sika soothing gel. If you're very oily skin, acne prone. This is gonna be your best friend. And then this one, this is the Hyaluron Soothing Gel. If you're looking for skincare that has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, pantothenic acid, or just basically that will heal the skin, super ganda neto Hyaluron Soothing Gel. If you're really, really on a budget, if you can't afford other moisturizers or serums, for me, makana lang to. I think it's around like 200 something pesos each. You have your Centalia Asiatica, good for oily skin. Then you have your skin repairing ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, pantothenic acid. So if you're looking for anti aging as well, Itong dalawang combo na to, this is a good start. So if you're a beginner, this is a really good combo for you. It's budget-friendly, it gets the job done. Plus, look at the amount you're getting. Baka mag one year pa to sa yung curl, nakakaloka. So for me, mga curls, if you're looking for a super-duper budgetarian talaga, yung tipong, I can't spend extra sa skincare, pero you wanna simplify your skincare, start with this muna. The soothing gels, you have your Sika, you have your ceramides, you're good to go na. Especially if you're a teenager, I would highly recommend this combo. Okay, sha. Then the next moisturizer I have here, this is the Lux Organics 97% Aloe Vera with Vitamin C. This one is a whitening cream. And alam nyo, I've tried this one no last year of June 2020. Wow, exactly. It's June 2021 ngayon as I'm filming this. Alam nyo mga girls, ang dami sa inyo bumuli na ito. And then, ang dami ko din na-receive ng mga DMs na this really helped them in terms of like discoloration sa skin. Ako na-try ko lang ito sa mukha. It's really brightening. Pagdating sa dark spots, nakakatanggal siya ng dark spots. My uneven skin tone here, I have hyperpigmentation. It really helped lighten it. Pero what shook me the most, na I wish na save ko yung DMs na yun, kasi my previous phone was an iPhone XR. Eh, ngayon iPhone 12 na ako. Yung iPhone XR ko na siya. Na nandun yung mga pictures ko na like sayang. May mga testimonials ako na na save. Alam mo mga stretch marks na parang medyo ng ingitim at saka medyo nagre red. I'm gonna be showing some pictures over here. Yung ganyo itura, nag lighten shop. And then yung mga iba gumagamit sila neto sa underarms nila, and it works. I haven't tried this on my underarms or elbows, pero I've seen so many pictures na sinan yung sa akin 
na tinanayin nyo sa underarms nyo, tinanayin nyo sa stretch marks nyo. It really works. And I'm like, talaga? It, I didn't expect, considering it has vitamin C, sure, it's a brightening ingredient. I wouldn't expect na ganun siya powerful for what it is. Kasi for the most part, it's 97% aloe vera. It's a good moisturizer for brightening the skin. But I wouldn't expect it's that intense na pwede mo siya gamitin sa underarms mo, elbows, and on your dark areas. So I was like, shook talaga. So I wish I could show the pictures ng mga testimonials niyan. Kaso that's when my old phone was XR. And it just so happens na si Rana yun. In terms of the consistency niya, mga curls, you would think na mabigat siya kasi it's like those white creams. Pero hindi. It just feels like a water base. Very light lang siya. Super bango. It just smells like aloe vera. But it's super powerful. So I highly recommend this if you have dark spots. Stretch marks nga. Eh, yung mga parang nangingitim nga. Gumana pati underarms. This is super powerful. Which, noong una na underestimate ko pa nga to eh. Pero ang lakas pala na ito. I'm so shook. Uh, medyo marami tayo Lux Organics kasi I was able to try them for a long period of time. So, unahin natin yung mga yan. So, the next ones I have here, this, these are my favorite. This is the Lux Organics Aqua Lock Plump Up Cream to Water Hydrator. Actually, up until now, gamit ko pa siya. Tinamas, super bawas na bawas siya. And then, I also use, this is the Lux Organics Whitening Repair Whip Moisturizer Niacinamide and Snail Secretion Filtrate. Alam niyo mga curls, if you're looking for a dupe ng snail white, yung snail secretion filtrate, this actually does have niacinamide. Alam niyo mga curls, in my opinion, sa totoo lang, no bias talaga. Like, I'm a huge snail white user. Alam niyo yan. Like, I've been recommending this since last year pa, nung summer pa of 2020. And then, I've been recently using this. In terms of, like, the consistency, mas light na onti si Lux Organics and mas affordable siya compared dun sa snail white na snail secretion. But honestly, mga curls, both are my favorite. They give you, a, like, a glass skin look. It gives you the moisture that you need. It's not heavy on the skin. Alam niyo mga curls, pagdating sa snail filtrate, I keep saying this in every of my single vlogs feel like I'm a broken record sa pagtuturo na ito. whenever you're using products that has snail secretion filtrate don't use it like this yung parang ganyan tapos you're gonna let's say this is your face igaganyan mo siya parang ganyan parang idadot mo siya sa face mo then you moisturize no the right way for me how I normally use it I always put it on my palms like that tapos I rub it on my palms like that tapos ipress mo lang siya sa face mo. You don't want to douse your face in snail secretion filtrate. You just want a film on your face. The snail secretion filtrate itself is very moisturizing na pag nasobrahan ka, magkaklog siya ng pores mo and you'll just end up breaking out. Less is more. Actually, I learned it sa isang ibang language na video. Nakita ko yung parang how to use a snail secretion filtrate na product. I can't remember the video pero it's in a different language and I was like, oh! Sa so, ganun pala yon. Hindi pala siya para idadot mo sa face mo and then you blend it out. Hindi siya Ganon. You have to like rub it on your hands, then press mo lang very lightly. As long as mas magkaroon lang ng film on your face, it's enough. So this one, one pump is good. So yeah, pagdating sa snail secretion filtrate, I keep getting comments na parang, ah, hindi ko siya bet kasi nagbe-breakout ako. It's actually the usage of it. So if you happen to have any products with snail secretion filtrate, like the snail white or this whip moisturizer na nag-breakout kayo, maybe it's the way you use it, mali pala siya. You, so you have to use it in that manner na parang you just get a film of product on your skin. Hindi super makapal yung paglagay ng product sa skin mo. Kaya nagiging mabigat siya tapos parang nagbe-break out kayo. Less is more is the key pagdating sa snail secretion filtrate. And if you're looking for products that's good for your skin barrier, super ganda na mga products with snail secretion filtrate. That's why I highly recommend this and this. These two talaga. Ito, I've been using this ever since last year of January. Until May of last year, I've been a user of this one. Nakatatlong ganito na rin ako. I think this is like my fourth one pero hindi ko siya naubos kasi I've been trying other skincare products. So, this has been my very first product na na-introduce ako sa snail white and and my very first product na naging super favorite ko talaga sa Snail White. Ito talaga. Alright, mga curls. So, moving on to the next product we have here. This is Skin 1004. This is the Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. Oh my God. This one, alam nyo sa totoo lang, medyo mahal siya. Pero it's so damn good. Sobrang light neto sa mukha. Meron silang cream, pati soothing cream. I like this one kasi sobrang light neto sa mukha. Meron siya Sika, Centella Asiatica, and then it has ceramides. Normally, pagdating sa skincare, okay na ako sa ceramides and and Sika. Kasi I'm oily skin, acne prone. So, the Sika will help combat my oily skin and acne prone skin. Tapos, the ceramides will help with uh, preventive aging. Kasi you all know what I look like before, di ba? Parang I'm like 18 pero pushing 40. Pero ngayon, mga kas, as a fresh girl na siya, di ba? Pak, 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 di ba? Oh my god. I'm just 16 years old, guys. Ano ba? Shout out. If you have the budget naman to have these two combos in one bottle, get the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. I'm pretty sure by the time that this video is up, yung review nun is 
up na. So, I'll be linking down below yung Skin 1004 review if it's up na. I swear, Skin 1004, mahal siya. Laging pinapromote ng mga influencers, pero gets ko siya. So, this one, it's a bit expensive, pero you get your Centelia Asiatica here, good for oily skin. Tapos, you have your ceramides here, good for anti-aging and also skin repair. At saka mga ka-share ko din, I had a photo shoot nung June 2 of this month. The night before, parang or two nights before, nagkaroon ako naman namin pimples of forehead, tapos napakakate. I don't know why, or maybe it's the hair dye kasi nagpa-touch up ako ng roots tapos pumunta siya sa forehead ko na-irritate yung forehead ko pero promise ang dami kong tigyawat sa forehead na napakakate I wish I took a picture of it kasi I was so scared two days na lang magkaka-photoshoot kami pero the only skincare I used was Skin 1004 Soothing Cream and also yung serum nila sobrang nakakatanggal siya ng inflammation sobrang nakakakalma siya ng pimple so thank God when I was in the photoshoot makinis yung forehead ko so if you guys have very acne prone skin and also very inflamed skin go ahead and try this talaga this is my favorite. Actually, if I were to do an updated skincare routine, kasama to, this Skin 1004 na soothing cream, so damn good. It's expensive, pero worth it siya for me. I use this in the morning and night. Like, swear, magaan talaga yung mga products nila. Alright, mga curls. So, moving on to the next moisturizer. Let's go budget-friendly edition naman, mga curls. So, if you're looking for a moisturizer that's very lightweight, good for your body and face, go ahead and try the Hyalu Deep Hydrating Gel. Super ganda neto. If you're really looking for something that's very budget-friendly, this one has hyaluronic acid, you have ceramides, plus you get 200 ml. Super mura na ito. Pwede na siya sa body, pwede na rin siya sa face. And then also in terms of like the weight of the product, ganyan lang siya. Parehas lang sila ng Glow Boost. Ganito lang siya. Super light niya, super gaan niya sa skin. Hindi siya mainit. For the most part, mga curls, pagdating sa Hyalu, Aqua Plus, and Glow Boost, ito ginagamit ko to sa body. Super lightweight, especially nung summer, around May. Grabe ang init na I can't wear lotion. This is such a lifesaver. Tapos ito naman, pwede siya sa face. Super gaan. You get your ceramides, your hyaluronic acid. If you're looking for a super budgetarian friendly na ceramide product, go ahead and get this. Super dami. You get so much product with this, and you get the hyaluronic acid, ceramides, and there's so much more ingredients in this, like there's sika pa nga eh. Actually, I have a dedicated review na Hyalu. You can check that one out for more details on that. Minsan may mga tendencies yung mga lotion or moisturizer pag napawisan, parang bumabaho. Wala siyang scent. It's literally just like a gel, super lightweight, and you get the benefits of like vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, ceramides. You can check my review down below. These are so good, and these are my favorite. So moving on to the next product. Oh! Oh! Oh, girl! Okay, this is from Some By Me. This is their um, Yuha Niacin. This is like their Niacinamide Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Mask. Alam niyo mga curls, I bought this last year, around July. And then I was so excited to try this because and dami nagsabi maganda to, nakaka-brighten siya ng skin kasi may vitamin C, may Niacinamide. Ang ganda niya sa skin. Girl, you know what this gave me? Breakout. Super nag-breakout ako dito. Nakakaloka. It's super expensive. I do not like it. I was having high expectations dito kasi some by me and dami nagbe rave ng mga products sa some by me but girl this one ain't it it's not good. I don't like this. So, pass mo na ako dito. Now, mga curls, if you're looking for a good sleeping mask talaga that really works na brightening, tagpapatanggal na mga dark spots, ganon, go ahead and get this one instead. This is the Innisfree Brightening Pore Sleeping Mask Jeju Halabong. I love their Jeju Halabong line in terms of like dark spots and dullness na skin. So far, like a set, yun yung sobrang powerful niya magtanggal ng dark spots and uneven skin tone. So, if you're looking for a good sleeping mask, better get this one than the Sun By Me. Ito, nag-breakout lang ako dito. Mas light pa to, mas maganda pa to compared to this one. This one, what is you doing, girl? Okay, kaya nga ako ng skin care is. And also, mga curls, I should have said this earlier, this disclaimer, if you just so happen to like the product that I don't like, don't take offense. It's personal preference. It's just me. I test out the product so you don't have to. So between these two, it's much better to get the Innisfree Brightening Pore Sleeping Mask. Mas effective to sa akin. Ito nag breakout lang ako. Alright, mga curls. So moving on to my favorite moisturizer, this one. I really, really love this moisturizer. And alam nyo, nagulat ako kasi may nakita ko review ni Skincare by Hiram, hindi niya to gusto. Sabi niya medyo mabigat daw. I beg to disagree actually. Like, this is the Crave Beauty Oat So Simple Water Cream. Like, hello sis! Like, kami nasa Pinas kami ma! Marapit kami sa Equator. Like, ang init dito. But I actually enjoyed this. Super gaan niya actually. Like, it just feels literally like water. Na parang super gaan. Kaya natiktok ko talaga ako kay Hiram nung sinabi niya mabigat daw. And I'm like, huh? Talaga ba? 
Pero alam niyo, pagdating sa Crave Beauty, I don't like their sunscreen. Medyo mabigat siya sa skin. Pero ito, their Oatso Simple Water Cream. Even their Great Barrier Relief ba yun? I forgot the name yung Great Barrier Chuchuba Ek Ek. Great Barrier Something Something. Yun, mabigat yun sa face. I've tried it sa friend ko. And also, if you have fungal acne, yung sa Great Barrier Relief. I think sabi ni Leah na hindi pwede siya pang fungal acne kasi medyo oil-based siya. So, hindi niya ma-recommend. Pero this one, the Oatso Simple Water Cream. For me, this is the best product ng Crave. I totally get it. If you just want to simply moisturize, get rid of inflammation, you, or you want to give your skin a break lang talaga, basta gusto mo lang mo siya ma-moisturize, maganda to. Sobrang simple lang niya, oats lang siya, water. Tapos sobrang simple lang yung mga ingredients dito. Not complex. I really enjoy this. This was my moisturizer noong 2020. I'd say July, August, and September I've been using this. Only in the morning. Tapos sunscreen. Super basic lang neto. I really like this one. If you're planning to buy the Oatso Simple Water Cream, get it, bitch. Like, I enjoyed it. Like, alam nyo, kung hindi lang ako nagtatest na mga ibang skincare, I would still be using this up until this day. Kaso nagkataon, I'm testing other skincare products. Eh. So, hindi ko siya magamit consistently. Pero, if I were not testing out skincare products, I would definitely use this talaga. Alright, mga girls. So, moving on to the next moisturizer. This is BLK Aqua Jelly Moisturizer Wonder Melon. Alam niyo mga girls, I haven't got the chance to make a dedicated review of this or talk about this on anywhere or any social media. I was able to post about this around March of 2021. Pero, honestly mga girls, after posting about it, I kept using it. March, April, every morning lang as a moisturizer kasi gusto ko na siya matest. Super ganda nito. Like, oh my god. I almost ran out of it na medyo paubos na nga siya. Super bango niya. Super parang nakaka-glass skin siya. And alam niyo yung moisturizer na when it gets on your face, minsan may mga moisturizer na parang it just dehydrates. Tapos parang nawawala siya sa skin. This one feels so nice. Parang when it gets on your skin, kung ano yung tura niya, parang dewy, ganun siya, pero hindi siya mabigat. It's so moisturizing. And knowing it has watermelon, watermelon is really good to retain moisture. Parang siya hyaluronic acid in a plant form. Super ganda. Super bango neto. It's so worth it. If you're looking for products na parang moisturize na talaga, parang ganito, yung Oatso Simple Water Cream, get the BLK Wonder Melon Aqua Jelly Moisturizer. It just does the same thing. Mas affordable. Mas madali to bilhin. I really enjoyed this. This was my summer moisturizer nung time sa napaka-init kasi napaka-gaan neto sa skin. Super nakaka-fresh pa siya. I really, really enjoy this talaga. Alright, mga girls. So, moving on to the next moisturizer. This is from Aryul. This is their Ariel Night Care Watermelon Hydro Glow Sleeping Mask. Alam niyo mga curls, considering this is a sleeping mask, yung consistency niya napaka-thin. Meron silang glow cream. Yun, medyo nakakapalan ako. It's actually really good. Pero I wouldn't normally use it because it feels slightly thick. But I would recommend it for those who have dry skin, matured skin, or parang normal skin. Pero for oily skin, it's too much. Pero ito, considering this is a sleeping mask, I was expecting this would be thick. Pero my God, this is so good. Sobrang nipis niya. Like you don't need a lot. And then when you wake up, your skin is so plump. Sobrang bango niya pa. Parang may watermelon. I really enjoy this. This has been one of my favorite sleeping masks this year. Ang ganda neto, tong Ariel. Give this a try. They even have a serum actually, which hindi ko siya ma-feature dito kasi obviously it's moisturizer, but their serum, the watermelon serum, sobrang ganda. I highly recommend this one. If you're planning to treat yourself with a sleeping mask, girl, this is top of my list. So moving on to the next moisturizer here, we have this. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Alam niyo mga curls, I'm pretty sure ang dami magagalit sa akin dito, pero alam niyo sa totoo lang, natry ko na to noong 2018 pa. Nag-work pa ako sa call center, I bought this with my own money, nasa 800 ata siya, if I'm not mistaken. Parang namamahala na nga ako eh. Ang dami nag-hype na ito, ang dami may gusto na ito, pero alam niyo, this one, sober nag-break out ako dito, like ang lalaki ng pimples ko, like dito, and then here, and then forehead. Na parang, I was like questioning Am I stressed to work or is it this? Because I stopped using this. No, wala yung mga breakouts ko. So this one, pasa ko dito sa Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I really had crazy breakouts and I was able to try this even way back. I was a vlogger. So ito, don't get this. It's kind of expensive. There's so much more affordable options that work and hindi ka magbe-breakout. So this one is a pass for me. All right, Malker. So the next product we have here, this is the Hada Labo Goku Hyun. So this is their hydrating light cream. This one, I was able to try this around Feb of 2021. One. This is what it looks like. It looks super thin. Ayan siya. I, it's not picking up on camera, pero when you shake it, parang siyang jelly. Tapos sobrang nipis niya. Ayan siya. Like, if you just put it like that, 
Ayan. If you put it on your skin, sobrang moisturizing niya, pero sobrang light niya sa skin. And also, mga girls, what I like about this, hindi siya yung parang tipong, minsan may mga hydrating na moisturizers na parang when it gets on your skin, parang mamaya-maya, parang natutuyo na siya, tapos parang nagiging dry ulit yung skin mo. Ito hindi. When it comes to Hadala, bupansin ko lang pagdating sa skincare nila, they really, I feel like they're also one of the brands that spearheaded the importance of hyaluronic acids. Pagdating sa mga facial cleansers nila, they have these uh, toner, lotion. Parang they're very focused on hydrating the skin. I feel like Hadla Lab is one of those brands that like highlight ng moisture sa skin. So this one is really nice if you're looking for a moisturizer na napaka-hydrating, especially if you're dry skin. If you're dry skin, pero mabilis kang mapawisan or mainitan or malagkitan, which makes sense, this is definitely perfect for you. Sobrang gaan neto. Napaka-nourishing niya, pero hindi mabigat sa skin. So give this one a try. This is their Hada Labo Hydrating Light Cream. It's a bit pricey, to be honest, but it works. That's why I really enjoy Hada Labo products as well. Alright, Malka. So for the next product we have here, this is the Face Republic Vita Glow Toning Cream. If you're looking for a moisturizer that's very brightening, super brightening na parang sober nakakalight siya ng skin, I used this before nung May. Sober naglight yung skin ko. This one is very nourishing, pero hindi siya mabigat and it doesn't leave a white cast considering it's a toning cream. What I like about this, it doesn't make your skin white kasi may mga toning creams sa parang mukhang may espasol sa skin. Ito hindi. This one has vitamin C, niacinamide. You get your moisturizer. Tapos, I swear, ang lakas niya makalighten ng skin pero hindi siya artificial. Napansin mo yung mga tao nag-gluta. Parang, they're lighter pero it doesn't look natural on them. This one will lighten your skin pero it looks super natural. To the point, ang dami nga sa inyo nagsabi na pumuti ako. So, I highly recommend this. And also, mga girls, before we move on to the next moisturizer, don't forget to always use the hashtag JohnnyMaybeBadis for any of your purchases. If you happen to see any products on my Instagram stories or my YouTube channel, skincare, art defines, whatever it is that you've seen and you happen to buy it, don't forget to always tag me in the hashtag Johnny Maybe Buy This on Instagram so I can give you a mention. And also, you can tag me on Twitter so I can give you a retweet, okay? So y'all know the drill. Don't forget to use the hashtag Johnny Maybe Buy This. Alright, Malkers, moving on to the next product we have here. This is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion in PM. And then I also have here, this is in AM. Alam nyo, I've been using this no November, December of 2020. It's so good. This one has hyaluronic acid. This has niacinamide, your ceramides. I feel like also isa din yan. CeraVe is one of those brands that like spearhead ng hyaluronic acid, ceramide. Also takes to higher on then like viral din ang CeraVe. Pero if I'm not mistaken, like comment down below, is CeraVe cruelty free? Ang alam ko hindi, right? Hindi daw cruelty free on CeraVe, but correct me if I'm wrong. But this has been my favorite moisturizer, specifically the PM1. Napakagaan niya, napaka moisturizing niya. My skin drastically improve on this. Pero yung sa CeraVe AM, yung morning nila, this one has SPF 30. I don't like this. It feels so heavy. Tapos tinan nyo, it leaves a white cast. Like, ma'am! Uh, excuse me, ma'am! Like, girl, what is that? Yeah, it leaves a white cast. Ang bigat niya sa skin. So, I don't know about this one. Yung AM, hindi ko talaga siya bed. Pero yung PM, oh my god, sobrang ganda nito. I really, really love this. Pero alam niyo mga girls, there were days nung November and December of 2020 nung gamit ko pa to. Minsan ginagamit ko siya sa umaga kasi hindi siya ganun kabigat. Actually, to be honest, hindi siya mabigat. So, I was expecting this would feel super duper heavy pero hindi. Ang gaan nito. Minsan ginagawa ko siya morning moisturizer eh. So, moving on to the next product mga girls. This is very similar to CeraVe if, if you're looking for something like that. This is the Happy Skin Hyaluronic B3 Boost Water Cream. Super gaan neto. It's the same. You have hyaluronic acids, ceramides, niacinamide. Alam niyo mga girls, I'm a huge user neto ever since January. This is my fourth pot. Is this a pot? What is this container? This is my fourth product nito. Like, pang-apat ko na to, girl. Tapos meron pa ako ngayon naka-reserve sa ref. So this is so good. It smells so luxurious. Pero hindi siya amoy fragrance na malakas. It's so light sa skin. Sobrang moisturizing. I only use this at night though. Pero the next day, sobrang ganda ng skin mo. This has been my favorite. It's a little bit expensive. Pero trust me, this is one of their best skincare products talaga ng Happy Skin. I really, really enjoy this talaga. Alright, Malka. So for the next product we have here, this is the Quick FX All-in-One Cream. This one is very simple. Pagdating sa Quick FX, Effects for me, yung pinaka best line nila is the Clean Collection. Those are the best chemical exfoliants. Except this one, this hindi siya chemical exfoliator. It's literally just a moisturizer. You get your niacinamide and adenosine. Adenosine is good for anti-aging. Niacinamide is good for brightening. If you're looking for a very basic moisturizer, this one feels very light as well. Ayun siya. Magaan lang siya. If you have very oily skin, a little goes a long way. Like parang isang ganyan lang, tapos you just dot it on your face. It will spread evenly. Wag mo lang ka pala yung paglagay. This is very light. You get your adenosine here 
Adenosine is good for anti-aging, papa iwas haggard, nice and may papa brighten. So it's very basic, very simple. If I were to compare, ganong siya ka lightweight compared to what I have here. This has a little weight to it. So if you're dry skin, this is good for you. If you're oily skin, you're gonna enjoy this. Pero use it sparingly lang. That's my advice. All right, Marco. So for the next product we have here, this is the Vanilla Co Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Cream. Alam niyo ba ako kasi pagdating sa Vanilla Co Miss Flower and Mr. Honey line, they did not fail. I love their mist. I love their serum. I love the lip balm. I love their eye cream. Even this one, it's so big. And then the una when I tried it, sabi ko, uh, maybe this is heavy. Oh my god! Like when you look at it, mukha siyang wax. But when you apply it on the skin, it feels so light, and it turns into this like velvety, na parang almost like water consistency. But alam niyo pagdating dito, I wouldn't recommend it in the morning though. I would just recommend it at night. Meron sila serum, much better yun gamitin mo sa morning. It smells like honey. It has propolis, which can brighten the skin. Sobrang ganda nito pagdating sa Miss Flowers and Mr. Honeyland ng Vanilla Co. They did such a good job. From the packaging to the ingredients and to what it is. My God, Vanilla Co. This line, ang ganda. And alam niyo mga workers, sa totoo lang, I would even say, kahit hindi ka naka-air conditioner at naka-electric fan ka lang, okay to. Super okay to. Alright, mga workers. So moving on to the next product. This is an oldie but a goodie. A classic that's timeless. This is the IY Korea Aqua Moisturizer. Bitch, everybody knows this. Their mama, their kids. Like, everyone knows this. This is their Aqua Moisturizer. We all know. Super lightweight. If you're on a budget, if you want the most affordable moisturizer, this one, meron pa kang sila sachet na ito. Alam niyo mga girls, pagdating sa skincare, this has been my very first moisturizer. When I'm traveling, especially in 2018, I remember. Kasi meron din to sa 7-Eleven. If I happen to forgot my skincare, especially moisturizer, I would just go to the nearest 7-Eleven and buy the sachet version nito, and then voila, we have a moisturizer. Then the next one I would recommend, this is the Eye White Aqua Moisturizer Glow. Concentrated, brightening. Ito maganda to. Hindi siya whitening. It has niacinamide. I even have a dedicated review of both of these in my channel, so I'll be linking that down below if you want more details about it. Pero these two talaga, this never failed me. Especially the pink one is so good as a primer because it has this texture na parang very pearlescent finish. I really enjoy these talaga. If you want a more detailed information about this, I'll link it down below. May Mayroon ako review about these two eh. Alright, so moving on to the next product we have here. This is the Innisfree Black Tea Youth Enhancing Cream. Alam niyo mga girls, if you're looking for something that's anti-aging at takot pa kayo gumamit na retinol, this one is a really good alternative sa mga products that are anti-aging na retinol na medyo mahal na mga serums. Kasi this is more affordable compared to other serums na parang that has retinol or anti-aging, they're ranging like 3,000 to 2,000 or 4,000 more. This one's a more affordable option. This though feels slightly thick. I would only recommend this using at night, but I use this every night, if I'm not mistaken, around January, February of this year. Nakakatanggal siya ng haggard sa skin. Tapos nakakatanggal siya ng fine lines and also fine smile lines over here. So if you're looking for something na parang anti-aging, pero without retinol, na parang kung takot ka pag gumamit ng retinol, try this one. They even have an eye cream that's so, so, so good. Like, I swear. Try the Innisfree Black Tea Youth Enhancing Cream if you're looking for something anti-aging. I really enjoyed this talaga. Pagdating sa Innisfree, they take ingredients seriously and also efficacy seriously. That's why I really love Innisfree talaga. Alright, mga curls. So, moving on to the next product we have here. This is Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Alam niyo, mga curls, ito PR package to. This just came around last year, if I'm not mistaken, September of last year, if I could remember the back of my head. Pero, you know what? Fun fact. I was able to I tried this moisturizer long time ago pa. Noong 2019 or parang I think 2018 parang magre-resign pala ako sa call center. This has been my favorite actually. Like I'm willing to spend extra for this moisturizer and plus it makes your makeup look so Good. If you're looking for a good moisturizer pagdating sa makeup, the ba makeup artist favorite is Emberly's that moisturizer. If you're looking for something similar that will give you a very smooth base pagdating sa foundation, try this one. Mas magaan pa to compared to Emberly's. Like ito siya. It's very moisturizing, especially if you have very creepy under eyes. This is so good as a moisturizer. It's very light. It also has squalene. The way that squalene is built up is almost similar to our sebum. It doesn't feel foreign sa skin natin. It just feels similar to what we have on our skin. 
So, ito, super lightweight niya. Pagdating sa moisturizing the skin, if you want that glowy, rich, plump skin, mas trip ko to kaysa sa Embroilies. Yung Embroilies, medyo nakakapalan ako at nabibigatan ako. Tapos, parang it feels oily. This one, hindi. Super light. You get that glow. It strengthens the skin barrier. This has been one of my very first expensive moisturizers nung call center pa ako. So, I highly recommend this. Been a user na ito. This one, bago pa lang to. I can't find my old ultra facial cream, but I had it before, actually. Alright, mga girls. So, moving Moving on to the last product, ito. Alam niyo na stress ako dito bakla. This is the Olay Magnum Mask Infusion Rejuvenating Jar Mask. I don't want to be mean, pero alam niyo, niloloko tayo nito, girl. Sabi niya magnet, kasi if you buy this, meron siya free magnet na ganito. This is a quote unquote magnet, pero hindi siya magnet. Nakakalo ka parang pilitrite pan tayo nito, girl. Tapos alam niyo, I actually have a review of this last year. It's like a magnet moisturizer. But if I'm gonna be completely honest, that was. 2020, and I'm talking to my 2021 version of myself. It sucks. It doesn't work. Okay, like I don't like it. This is not a magnet. This is not. He needs a magnet. I have a whiteboard over here. He needs a dummy ticket, girl. Like I have a whiteboard. But if it's if something's magnetic, ayan that's magnetic. If this was magnetic, dapat dummy ticket yan. Pero hindi hindi siya dummy ticket, girl. So it's not magnetic. Hindi siya magnetic. This is not even a magnet. This doesn't work. My inch is a face. I was bamboozled with this. So this one it goes to the worst one. I don't like her. All right, Marco. So that concludes this video of the best and worst moisturizers. Like, what do you guys think? Those are all the moisturizers that I was able to try day and night, either day or night. Super. Like, alam niyo ang dami dami talaga. Like, buti yung kinain na skin ko. Pero it took me around two years to be able to try all of this. You ibang products dito. Even before I was a vlogger, I was able to give them a try. So you're getting my honest opinion. Talaga dito. And when it comes to the best and worst series, I take my time talaga. Kaya hindi ako masyado nakaka-upload ng best and worst blank agad-agad. Kasi I really want to make sure I try the product first before I recommend it. Like, who doesn't, di ba? And also, mga girls, if you happen to have these products as well, comment down below what was your experience and comment down below which of the moisturizers are you most likely gonna get because I wanna know, okay? And of course, mga girls, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And of course, mga girls, very important is to say, Mashika, my mother, f***ing, how's it here? Bye, girls!